Hello everyone, Weird Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to EU4 as Mongolia. So when we last left off, we had more or less won a couple of successful wars. We have Yeren as a vassal. We're about to go to war of Korchin and Janzu here, because that'll be delightful indeed. Oh, uh, you're allied with the Oirat still, so that's interesting. I mean, with that in mind, what we could do is go to war with the Oirat instead, because the Oirat are significantly weaker than Jianzu. If we just wait it. Yeah, take them out, then go after Jianzu. Yeah. Yeah. That might make a bit more sense. So I'm pretty sure we can take these guys, but it would be easier if we did this first, and that way we don't have to worry too much about Yaren getting utterly destroyed. Because this is their only unit right now. And their leader is actually not bad, but he's not great either. And unfortunately, none of our leaders have any siege ability, which is sort of annoying. Uh, do you have any siege ability? You do. You have two siege, in fact. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, wait, let's double check this again. In May. Where he is, on the other hand, we could go to War of Korchin right now. Of course, then again, or Jianzu right now. So if we, if we fought these guys, then, hmm, maybe it would make more sense. Plus, if there are going to be any rebel uprisings, you know what, no, let, let's go for the lower hanging fruit, as it were. Oh, also, we can't really go to war until our claims are finished, so that's an important thing. Oh, but then again, I haven't been making all the claims I could over here in the Oirat territories, which is unfortunate. Yeah. All right, our truce of Korchin has ended. And and we do want our manpower to come. All right, I guess we can spend a bit of time at peace. Also, I noticed Jianzu happens to be right there. Oh, they've declared war on the Hakesy people. So, you know, this could be our chance, because while they're busy sieging them, we can come in there and siege out all their land. I like the sound of that. Also, they're getting beaten surprisingly hard by that. Sure, Hakesy, you can have access. You're not long for this world, so... In fact... Oh wait, they wouldn't accept vassalization because we own cores. Right. That is an unfortunate fact. Look at that. I mean, if we went to war right now, we could crush them. Crush them like a bug. Hurry up and uh, finish that claim, please. Yeah, we re we really should. It would probably be for the best. Ingen? Oh, right, right. Claims and stuff. Ah, we got some free ducats. That's always nice. Are you at war? No, you did join in. Alright, so we'd want to smash them, then them, and so on and so forth. All right, everything is going as I have foreseen. Excellent. Actually, would you want to be allies? We'll, we'll still come into your war. No, you don't trust us. Well, if that's how you feel, this might be a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, we'll fabricate claims over here while we're waiting. I mean, the Oirat aren't long for this world either. So, uh, there is... Oh, they did kind of recover pretty quickly, didn't they? Oh, what the heck. I mean, how fast... Oh, they're already at 14%, so that's actually going to tick over pretty soon. So we're not going to have that much time. Uh, any of you want to... You don't want land? I thought so. We could go for that, but we'll go for Tribal Feud. And the war goal is just to, yeah, take a... Take a province. Uh... What uh, province do we want? Probably one we don't already have a core on, right? Yeah, let's say no, because we're going to give Darren to them. Oh, but then again, that means that these guys could probably take it right away. I will just say that. Alright, let's... Uh, actually, we could just come right in here and try to attack them right away. You know what? Let's do that. Probably... What's it? Oh, right. Forgot about that. Rival of our rival. Korea... Is it possible to get their opinion to 100? It is. 
so we'll do it. That'll also minimize the odds of Korea wanting to go to war- or wanting to join the Ming against us in battle. That's pretty important. Oh, that was a bad move. I <laughs> should have attacked them because they wouldn't have come in and helped. Right. Well, that was my fault. That's my bad. Except we still handily crushed them anyway because we're awesome. God. I am cool. Though hopefully that doesn't allow uh, Hakesy to turn their war around and take a bunch of stuff off of the enemies, since that would be awkward. Oh, we're accepting... Wait, what? Why did we get black flagged? They're in the war with us. That's gotta be a glitch, right? Right? Game. That is a glitch, right? You didn't mean to screw me over like that. I'm gonna have to assume they didn't mean to screw me over like that. Where are you going? Yaren. Where, where is that? Over here? Alright. Oh, we're gonna catch them anyway. Take the province. Uh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Berja. Do we have a core on this? No, we just have a claim. Let's see. Situation works for us, leave it be. We gain prestige for it, so we'll do that. Excellent, excellent. I swear to God, you come in there and... Yeah, that's right, you better not. Ah, our truce with the Oirat is over. Excellent. Uh, might as well stop there. We'll detach another siege, and then we'll just sit on their capital. We're in no rush. Excellent, excellent. Where are you going? Am on? Good for you. Rely on the tribes. You know what? I don't think their influence is that high. Yeah, it's not that high. We can do it. It's just we don't want it above 80, right? Yeah, we don't want it above 80%. And that military tradition means that we'll get better generals. So we definitely want that. Is there a fort here? There is not. So uh, you, who is not doing anything, could go over there? Oh no. You probably don't want to do that. There's too many of them. Wow, we're already almost sieging them out. Beautiful. Though things are going to slow down when we have to wait. Uh, let's go and just fortify that, shall we? Yeah, they're busy here, so Hakesy, no doubt, is going to lose no matter what. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't go to war over there. Don't fight them. Wait. Oh, for a second there I got confused. I thought none of my leaders were doing anything. And then I got kind of scared and was wondering, well, what's that all about? Why are none of my leaders doing anything useful? But, eh. Are you sieging them down? You are. Nice. But you- Oh, you do have a siege leader. Good for you. Hey, no one beats up my vassal except me. A jerk. Yeah, that's right. We kicked your ass. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, I love it when a war goes entirely my way with no difficulty whatsoever. And I can probably take my leader off there now. I'm not sure exactly if the fact that I made him a leader at all means that he's much... Oh, wait. They're in hostile territory, so that's not going to work. No! I didn't know you were going over there. Wow, oh, that was fast. Yeah, I'm not sure if, like, him being a leader at, like, just the fact that he exists as a potential leader means that he is, uh, much more likely to die just on those grounds. Oh, I didn't realize they had land over here. Oh, and they're still gonna win. Good. So, uh, you see Joe everything over there. I'll see Joe everything over here. And, uh, oh, good. You sieged it out. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, you're, you're those guys. That's, uh, not what I was exactly intending. Where'd my vassal go? You are doing something useful, right? What, what do I have you set to do? You're set to be aggressive, okay. I don't remember doing that, but apparently I did. Okay, lay dokily. So we, we could actually keep this going until 
these guys surrender. And then when they surrender, they, we then take their provinces and so on and so forth. Of course, then again, there is a bunch of unrest. Uh, see, they can't even handle the tribes. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's go to our own territory. And we'll wait for the land to be taken by us. And then we shall... Yeah, just be happy. Yeah. So, I mean, since these are sieged by someone who is not us... Actually, then again, we might as well just take everything, because we can always go to war with these guys later if we want. But then again, it might make sense. This war is pretty much in the bag, so we might as well go fight the Oirat. I guess. Where are you going? I'm assuming you're going there, so we'll go. I'll let them take this, because I want the Hexi to lose their war. Where, where are you going? I'll just follow you wherever you go, and hopefully we can get something going here. Excellent, excellent. We're doing a pretty good job on stuff, which is good. And they have an army that's going somewhere. Okay, let's, uh... Where are you going? I mean, it's a one stack, so let's just split our army. We'll send... You can keep going over there. Ah, eh, they'll probably take care of it themselves, but might as well... Be cautious about it, right? Actually, if these guys are going to unsiege this, then I might as well let them do it. I'll just make our war go faster. Except it looks like they're going to go try unsieging something that I took. Nope. Nope. Stay there. Thank you. Okay. Oh, looks like they've taken it, so this war is going to end soon. Probably. Actually, maybe I want to move away from that stack. Uh, well, no, you know what? You can sit there. It'll be fine. It'll be groovy. Uh, oh, that's their capital, so they're gonna be busy for a while. Let's just crush that stack, shall we? We might as well be- oh god. They're coming in. Uh, where's our best leader? Probably you. Probably, maybe. Let's see how this- oh, that's right, you back off. You know you can't touch this. Uh, oh, we're not fabricating claims over here on the Oirat anymore. I should have been paying attention to that. So we have free claims. It'll take us three years in order to do that. Oh my goodness. Our heir. Let's see here. We gain a temple, or we gain a weak claim heir. That is a really good leader. He's 4-5 free. I mean, he's not great in military, but he's good in all the other stuff. And 4 or 5 free is still above average. But a free temple! That increases our tax modifier. Uh, you know what, let's just... Should we assume that we're going to get uh, a new heir anyway? So I don't want to have to deal with pretender rebels. You know what, screw it. How old is our guy? Okay, I'm probably rolling the dice on that one. But I'm pretty sure... Didn't we roll... Wow, they've already sieged their thing back? The Oirat's opinion has changed. Oh. Wow. That's just sad. I can't believe it happened like that. Oh. That was probably not a good engagement. Where, where is our army? Oh, he's just sitting there because I forgot about him. It's a bunch of unnecessary wasted manpower. So uh, get in there. Oh, good for you, Hakesy. You took your land back. I would have been really upset if that was another wasted fight. That would have made me feel pretty stupid. Oh, yeah, they've got land over there. Ah, oh, but that's against the Ming, so I'm not even going to bother. Oh, what do you know? You're heading all the way over to the other side of the country. Good. Who are we improving relationships over here with Korea? Okay. You know what? Oh, they're not giving up their occupations over here. Oh, I don't like that, though, because I want I want this land, because it's above... Hmm. Because I can't get the rags and riches achievement. Ah, eh, we're not playing for achievements anyway. Ah, uh, well, you know what? We'll wait until this guy comes back. There's no reason to... Yeah, look at that. They're... Wow. 
Wow. They're... Oh, they lost. That's unfortunate. It looked like they were going to win for a second. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this fight properly. We will take out the enemy entirely. Because I want to have everything, dash it all. Everything is mine. Because remember, in EU4, basically all land is either belongs to me or is going to belong to me. What are you doing, Ming? What are you doing over there? Why do you have all these allies? You're scaring me, man. Oh, I'm the Ming allied with Calm. Damn it. Or send again, that probably means it's even more important that we ally with Calm. Because... Yeah. In fact, if we improved our relationship with them, they might actually want to be allies with us. Because basically the idea here is we ally them, because then if the Ming try to go in on an offensive war against us, Calm won't join them, and might come in on our side instead. Ugh, look at that 20 stack. It's just sitting there taunting me, saying, Ha ha ha, we're so much better than you. With our Mingness. Yes. Alright, well, we've pretty much got a 100% war score, so let's just take everything we can. Wait for it. Whichever happens first, either the mission completes or the claim gets made. Oop. Excellent. Gotta love that uh, prestige. Claim Ordos, which is... That belongs to them, so that's just not happening. Not happening at all. Let's uh, speed things up. You're back. Alright, it's time for peace. Yeah, because the unfortunate thing is, I won't be able to raise that. Oh well. Can I, uh... I mean, it's occupied by never enemy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's uh, separate piece these guys so we can get land from them. I want everything. You will also give me war Oh wait. You know what? I'll keep them around. Because why not? It also means I have one less province bordering... Uh, what's his face? The Ming. Excellent. Well, I feel good about myself. That was a delightful war. We shall... Raise that because we get admin points for it, so why not? We'll core it up. Uh, what provinces did I previously have to raise? Alright, we'll raise that. We will raise that. We raise this. We cannot. Uh, do we want to give that to the ho or to the tribes right away? The answer is no. Excellent, excellent. Cigar. Yeah, we raised that. Alright. So now let's move our armies over to the Oirat border. Oh wait, and also we can go to War of Corchin again if they're actually willing to go to War of the Oirat. It's genius, I tell you. Oh, let's start fabricating another claim. I mean, the claims really just help us get this stuff cheaper, is the idea here, so... Alright, sue for peace. I want... To you to give me everything you own. Everything, I said. Do I want you to give me that? Uh, hem hum her. That is a mountain province, so that could be useful. Hmm. You know, I could just not give this to Yaren, and that way... I'll have another opportunity later. Ah, but then again, why gimp ourselves? Oh wait, that's too much war score anyway. So that works out perfectly, because then we can get war reparations. And actually, the war reparations probably helped because that whole revanchism thing, which I don't think I've explained, but it was something that was added. It, it's basically to help you, or probably more to help the AI than anything, from getting into a big uh, death spiral, where they just sort of keep losing it. Because like, what happens generally when you lose a big war is that you just keep on losing. And naturally, that's not a great state of affairs to be in. You know what occurs to me? I could just keep raising these provinces over and over and over again. But do I really want to do that? The answer is no, because I don't think... I don't think it's worth keeping them around as non-cores for so long. Did we, uh... Oh, we missed one. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Anything else that seems suspiciously high? Uh, we might keep that one around as to not core it and then make it... Uh, and raise it one more time. Let's see here. Uh, why can't we... Oh, because we're making those cores. Do we really want to convert that? I mean, that'll take forever. So the answer is... The answer is no. I don't really want to risk that right now. Uh, what mission can we take? Reduce overextension. Get Diplo rep. You know what? We'll go with that one. Because we are going to reduce our overextension at some point. Probably. Uh, Buratia... Oh! Buratia, my allies, have decided to make me a rival. Well, well, well. I have no idea what they're thinking, considering the fact that they literally have no one that they can call in as an ally. They basically just said, Hey, Mongolia, we don't want to live anymore, so... Bye. Oh, Shagate would like to ally me. You're already allies with the Uzbeks and the Timurids, so why not? We'll get in on that gang. They look like a good bunch. Ooh, tea imports. Ooh, minus unrest could be useful, but the mercantilism could be useful too. Oh, wow. That's not our actual monthly balance, of course. That's just because of all the money we're making from spoils of war. We're actually only making 0.11 ducats in war reparations. That's kind of funny. Uh, hmm. Uh, uh. I, I think the mercantilism is probably more worth it. Also, do we want to... Yeah, we probably want to do this. I don't want to have to worry about rebels. If we don't have to worry about rebels, then we're probably in good... Uh, where's my unrest button again? Ooh. Wait a minute. That's not even one of my provinces, so why am I worried about it? Wait, that is one of my provinces. That's odd. I didn't think it was. But apparently it was, in fact. There we are. That'll, uh, make sure that these guys don't rebel for a good long time, hopefully. Uh, you want more territory, do you? Is there a good 111 province? There, or, yeah. Good. Are the estates happy yet? They are not. Let's see here. Where's another cheap province? There we go. Oh, that already belongs to the tribes. Um, it's part of Yaren. That's a six. That's a five. That's a six. That's an eight. Where are all my really low development provinces? That's a ten. That's a six. Uh, oh my. You know what? We'll just give that to them and hope that's just good enough. Okay. They're happy. So, that's also going to do it for this episode. We had some good success there. I, you know what? We might go to war with Eurasia first. Because apparently they've decided they don't want to live anymore. And are ready to die, so... Alright. I mean, rem just remember, Eurasia, you asked for this. You all saw it. But yes, <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode. So, before I forget, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. And I will see all you in the next episode. Oh, but let's uh, Royal Marry them first.